Okay, good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is where you are. I uh, thought I would make a quick video regarding setting up your project on your laser bed in Lightburn so that your images are centered on your piece. This is a hot topic in the group, one that gets asked a lot, so I thought I would share one of the ways that you can do this. So, when I do it this way, what I do is I take a piece of cardboard, I set it in the bed. It needs to be larger than what you're going to be engraving. So for this, I'm just gonna use this teal leatherette from JDS. So obviously the cardboard is much bigger than the leatherette. So I put the cardboard in the bed. And the next step is to go in light burn and make a rectangle the same size as your object. So for me, this leatherette. So we'll go over here to light burn and I'm going to make a rectangle that is three and a half wide by two and a half tall. All right, now that I have that, I'm gonna just grab it, drag it, roughly to where my cardboard is, in the bed here. <clears throat> I'll hit frame. Let it do its thing. Yep, it's in the middle of the cardboard. Okay, good enough. So now, I'm gonna put my magnets down. So I hold this in place. I like lots of magnets. Frame it again just for fun. Make sure I'm not going to hit any of my magnets that I just put on there. And then I'm going to cut this out. I suppose I could turn my air on, huh? Okay, now pull this out and I've got a two and a half by three and a half inch square that my leatherette fits into. Now here is the fun part. You come back over to light burn and now with that rectangle you've got that's where you want to put your image of what you want to engrave. So I'm going to go up here to File, Import. We'll do my Halstead logo. Huge. So we're going to resize that. Bring it down to something manageable. A little bit more. There we go. It just snaps right to the center. Um, I don't remember if that's a setting or if Lightburn just does that and I'm just thinking of Illustrator, but it just snaps right to the center of this. And if it doesn't, you can highlight it and you can highlight your rectangle and you can use your centering tools up here. But back to the video. So now I have this in the middle of the rectangle that we just cut out. So I'm gonna go up here I'm gonna turn off the output for the line because we don't want this rectangle to cut again. Now I'm gonna go to my image. This is way off. I'm gonna change my settings. Four hundred looks good to me. Okay, now we've got this set to just engrave the image inside of that rectangle we just cut out.
So, what you need to do now is move your laser head over above your object, get it focused. You can frame it again if you want. You'll see that it's nice and inside. But from there, basically all you have to do is hit start, and let the laser do its thing, and it's gonna be nice and centered on your leatherette. Oops, I didn't have my ear on for the layer setting, but you get the idea. Again, this is just a quick tutorial of a way to center your object on your piece. If you got questions, leave them in the comments. I'm going to upload this to my YouTube so that we can use it in the group. Share it, like it, follow for more. I definitely want to make some more of these videos. I'm no pro at this by any means. I'm still kind of learning as well, but what I do know, it can't hurt to help the rest of the group. So if you have any questions, again, let me know. Actually, it's turning out pretty nice, but even with the air off, it's just surprising because this leatherette can be kind of finicky. But you'll see it's great engraving, nice and centered on the leatherette, which is exactly how I had it on here. Uh, just to kill time while this is doing its thing, this is a red and black 80 watt ohm tech. I did do the air upgrade because I already had a compressor in my garage for air tools. I did the fan upgrade and removed the stock fan out of there so it wouldn't restrict anything. And other than that, I added a couple LED lights in here and that's it. She's run really nice. Right out of the box, all the mirrors were aligned, and this thing has just been doing its thing ever since. I really haven't had to do much to it or touch anything, so knock on wood, but that's what I know. All right, pull this thing out of here. There we go. Nice and centered on our object. Just like we made in Lightburn. Again, any questions? I know this was kind of a longer video, but hopefully it helps a ton of people. If you got questions, feel free to let me know. Thanks.